Uh, in this video, we're going to uh, prepare a solution of sodium hydroxide and the sodium hydroxide is going to be approximately 0.1 molar concentration. I've prepared a bottle for it and notice that I've X'd out the other digits that I don't know. So my first step is to prepare a roughly 0.1 molar concentration. I have a, a solid sodium hydroxide source that's called lye and it's household 100% lye and it's used as a drain cleaner and so I have a solid uh, powder of it and uh, in order to prepare a known molarity of sodium hydroxide to four significant figures you really cannot rely on the mass of sodium hydroxide mainly because uh, sodium hydroxide is hygroscopic which means it absorbs moisture and if it absorbs moisture its mass is going to change and um, uh, so I don't think it's lost a lot of mass but again you cannot rely on the mass of something that's hygroscopic so I'm going to weigh out uh, the quantity of sodium hydroxide to prepare one liter of solution that will fit into this bottle so I want you to pause the video and calculate the mass of pure sodium hydroxide, supposedly this is pure, and calculate what mass it is to have in a solution volume of one liter. So please pause the video and calculate that, and then I'm going to weigh that mass. Okay, I, I suppose you've calculated this. I've already zeroed my balance, so my scale reads zero grams. I'm going to use a beaker. So I'm going to put in uh, four grams. So I'm going to tear the mass of my beaker. And there it is. So the next step is to transfer four grams of sodium hydroxide. And so I'm going to take my spoon in. So, so far I have two grams. So this is pretty close, so I'm going to not worry about it to get it to exactly 4 grams. So 3.981 grams is fine. So uh, the reason is that I'm going to standardize the solution anyway. So we're going to know the concentration in a more detailed uh, uh, manner to 4 significant figures. So we're going to leave this and transfer it into the bottle. So here is my bottle that I'm going to transfer this to. So this is pretty dry, but just so that I know I'm transferring everything, I'm going to use a wash bottle and wash the solids and transfer the solids in the wet manner. Uh, sodium hydroxide tends to stick to surfaces and as I said it's because it is hygroscopic so when it absorbs moisture it starts to become a little wet and it's hard to transfer it so it's not really totally dry once you get it out of the container and even in the container it may have absorbed moisture from the plastic walls of the container so we can't really trust that there you go. So I have some uh, sodium hydroxide in a liquid form dissolved. So I'm going to transfer roughly 500 milliliters. Now this is 4 grams in 1 liter. So my graduated cylinder happens to only hold 500 milliliter. So I'm going to transfer uh, two 500 portion or a little bit less because I use some water to wash the sodium hydroxide in so I'm going to go back around next time 450. So the total solution volume will be roughly 
one liter. Again, we will know the concentration in a more detailed way once we go through the titration process, a process that's called standardization of sodium hydroxide using potassium hydrogen phthalate. So this is my solution. I'm going to mix it well and dissolve it and then do a standardization titration to determine the other digits that I'm not sure what they are. So I'm going to know because my mass was measured in four significant figures. It was 4.000 or close to it. And therefore my concentration will be known to four sig fig because I'm going to use a burette which dispenses volumes to four sig fig and it will all work out. So we're done with this part of the video.